in your opinion, what would be a good outcome for COP15? To have uh, an agreement that comes out of it that sets strong and achievable emission reduction targets. Good outcome would be a fair and ambitious legally binding deal. Good outcome to COP15 would be a fair, ambitious and legally binding agreement uh, with a good percentage of reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and zero deforestation by 2020 and most of all uh, transfer, financial transfer to less than half Well, I think a good outcome to COP15 for us, for business, for the ICC would be an agreement. I don't think we're going to have an agreement, as we know that we're looking at trying to have a full agreement, but to have a political framework agreement, to have something that puts us on a solid step to be able to finish, if not by June, hopefully, I guess, in Bonn, by Mexico City in uh, December. I mean, for us, we absolutely need to have a post-2012 framework that provides clarity for business so they know what they have to invest, what the hell, how much finance, you know, basically set the rules so that we can transition to a low-carbon economy. Today, you're in Copenhagen. In, well, by the end of the conference, the actual outcome. Do you I think there'll be a political framework agreement. I think there'll be. A, I, 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 I think the reality. That's you know, it's not what we maybe wanted. What we wanted is what we wanted for the last two years since Bali is a full agreement here. But you know, it's the reality of what we face and what came up a few months ago. So uh, we're optimistic that progress will be made here that'll allow us to have that legally binding agreement by I don't know next year or something. We're hoping we'll get there. We have to see there's a week to go. I mean, there is a, a lot of confusion that's around. I don't think it's very clear what is going on. It's very difficult to keep track of how the negotiations are going. We can only hope for the best. I'd say it's too early to be pessimistic. Actually, I think that the outcome will unfortunately be like a political agreement, nothing real, nothing legally binding, and just a good declaration of intentions. How do you want to influence the negotiations? As a youth, I can only say that we can only go to meet them like every five minutes to tell them, hey, don't forget, this is our future and you have to do something right now because if you wait, we will be the one to have to take uh, the results of your bad decisions. We can only influence, I think, here now by, by sharing information. Uh, the time for wanting to, to provide the government is, is gone. They've come here with their positions firmly fixed, and so it's really about talking to people outside of government here at the, at the COP. Well, we are, we have, we've been working on uh, climate change for 15, 20 years almost, and uh, if it wasn't for us, I'd go as far as to say that we wouldn't be here totally. It's due to the pushing and the advocacy of the uh, NGOs that it has been brought to us. For us, I mean, at this point, it's not about influencing the agreement. It's about being here and showing the solutions that businesses can bring all over the world and dialoguing with governments, with NGOs, with uh, IGOs and things like that.